to use Microsoft EXCEL in the computation of the measures of central tendency, of dispersion, and of location for our large data would just be first to copy and paste those data here on the sheet. Uh, this particular sheet we are going to rename as COVID-19 because these are COVID-19 uh, data. Uh, reported cases and deaths by concrete, territory, or conveyance. We call this as a whole areas as of December 14, 2020. So these are composed of columns and rows. Uh, the row, every row contains data for that particular area. So for example, this row here, row 4, it's about the data of the world's total cases, total new cases, total deaths, new deaths, total recovered, new recovered active cases are critical. Total cases per 1 million population, total deaths per 1 million population. And okay, the population of the world, that's over 7 billion actually. So, uh, all of those in that row are about the world. All of those in row 5 are, are all about the USA. Okay. And then all about this column C is all about total cases. And for... Column L, that's all about deaths in every 1 million population. Okay, so copy-pasted. Now let's see, I've already written here uh, what we need to do in, in this exercise, in this demonstration. So we have here an N or to represent the sample. How many are all the areas included here in this data set? Then we need to identify the first area. Where is the first area located? And the last area. Okay, and then all these computations that we need to do for the three measures. For the total N, let's have a scroll down, scroll down to have the total. So we have all in all 220 areas. Okay. And these are actually a range according to the highest towards lowest. So the, the N here is 220. The first area is in row 5. Row 5. Okay. And the last area would be 224. Located at row 224. Okay. So arrange according to uh, to rank for Philippines. Let us see. Philippines is ranked number 28 in terms of COVID cases. Let's now go to work. The mean. Okay. I just encoded that mean equals to and the answer should be here. Oh, place your cursor here and click Fx. This is insert function. Okay. Let's choose average because that is what mean is average okay you you may do this it's a, we are going to compute about total cases so we are going to use the data on the c the total cases suppose you can have actually the doing you can do this scroll down and so on uh, but you can also type like c5 that's in column five column uh, row 5 in that column up to C224 because we know that the last area is in 224. Okay, so in seconds it's there. That is our mean total cases 327,000. Median, uh, the same FX, but you choose median. Okay. From C5 to C224. Yes, and that's the median. You see uh, the big difference between the median and the uh, mean? B this is the middle. The median is the middle uh, of the rank, rank cases. 
Uh, that's the measures of central tendency. Let's go to dispersion, variance. Function, variance. That is the variance. Okay. Um, all the variance, we are going to use the data here in the depths. That's in column L. So L5 to L224. Okay. So that's the variance now. Let's just have this color to, to differentiate. Oh, standard deviation function. Okay, standard deviation, okay. L5 to L224. Okay, that's the standard deviation. See how fast you can do this? And last is the percentile, the measure of location. Of the USA total cases in, in, in relation to worldwide cases. So how how many percent is this 16 million from out of the 72 uh, million total cases in the world? Okay. Aside from doing that, uh, the previous ones I've shown you about, you can also directly encode here equals SAM. Oh, no, no equal sum and then open parenthesis uh, USA is in C5 C5 we divide that with the worlds that's in C4 close parenthesis and then we multiply afterward with 100 that's how you are going to get obtain the percentile right okay enter so you now have this 22.95 or if you are going to round off that later that would become 23 percent and that's all about uh, using microsoft excel in the computation